talk about. I literally just came up with this like five minutes ago and I really wanted to talk about it because it's really been annoying me. So, here we go. Why social media life is not your real life and why it shouldn't be. And most people watching this right now are going to be like, great, just going to go on a tangent about why we shouldn't be in social media. Fabulous. Well, I think social media is great. I think it's a way that you're able to connect with people and that you're able to talk with friends because some of my best friends I almost never get to see in real life so obviously that's a great way to talk to them. What I'm talking about today is why social media would be awkward if it was your real life. Like if all the stuff we did on like Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and Tumblr and YouTube we actually did in real life because if we think about it, the stuff that we do behind screens is a lot more embarrassing than the stuff we'll do face to face with people. So, first thing that's really, really annoying. Oh, it's not really annoying. It's just confusing. Hashtags? Trending hashtags? I've seen a few really funny ones, but I don't see anything else for I really need it. Also, hashtags for like, when you post pictures and you put hashtags like, Best boyfriend ever. Oh my god, we had such a good time today. Crepe for life. Like if we did that in real life, we're just eating a crepe and all of a sudden we go. Crepes for life. Hashtag. If we did that in real life, people would get really creeped out. You'd probably get kicked out of wherever you were having a crepe. If you don't know what a crepe is, you need to go get one like right now because they are heavenly. Uh, second thing that's really annoying, the entirety of Twitter, I don't get it. What is a tweet? I don't, you send someone a message? Like, I'm pretty sure it's like if you took asks from Tumblr and you made that an app, right? I, th I mean, I think, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, descriptions under things. This kind of goes with like the crepe analogy. If you're walking down the street with your boyfriend and it's like your one year anniversary and this is what happens. Oh my god, we've been dating for like a year now. Cool. Oh my god. No, I didn't like that one. What are you talking about? Huh. Like imagine if we did that in real life to everything. People would get really confused. Alright, next thing. Kind of goes with this, the constant relationship updates. Because even if you're only on one thing of social media, there's always that one person that is in and out of relationships and you're not sure if that's her brother she's in a picture with or her cousin or if her cousin is dating her brother or if her ex-boyfriend is dating her cousin's brother's sister's mom you never know but like if we continuously went around giving relationship updates like that people would get really confused and they think you were crazy but no you're just happy for each other Alright, last thing that really confuses me, there's only one exception where it is okay to take pictures of your food, if it's fancy food. Like if you happen to have an oyster that is in like the shape of a flower, or you got, there's this video going around of this Chinese guy making this giant cotton candy flower thing, unless you get something that is shaped like something else other than food, you do not need to be taking pictures of it and posting it. This is like with the crepe analogy, if you just took your food and you went around showing it to people. Oh my word, I have food. I'm gonna go show it to you. Look at this. Push it over there. Look at my food. Look at my food. Look at my food. If you want me to look at your food, you need me to bring me some food so I can eat the food with you and I will enjoy the food. But if you're just showing the food in my face, I will get annoyed with you. I said that was the last thing I think, but um, this is the real last thing. I haven't gotten any of this yet, but I really hope I don't. I don't know. It'll probably happen sooner or later. People that troll, like people that troll, this is what 
I pretty much imagine them doing with their life right now. Okay? Mm. I got nothing to do today. I think I'll go post some really hateful stuff on some random person's YouTube thing before I even finish the video so just to annoy them. <laughs> Swag, YOLO. And that's pretty much what I think of people that troll because if you say first comment within the first five seconds and the video is longer than five seconds long, then you're a troll. Let's say. If you ever say first comment ever, 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 why? No one wants to know. I will obviously be able to see who says the first comment because there's a notification bar and I will be able to see. I know. Everybody else doesn't need to know. They can just scroll down to the bottom of the list of comments. You see your name. If people don't do that normally, then they wouldn't care about the first comment. They don't want to see that you say it. I've been posting a lot about things that annoy me, but I think that's what you do in a blog or a vlog. It's a blog or a vlog. It's like a video blog. It's a vlog blog. Because I write stuff underneath, so that would count as a vlog, but I make videos of things, so that would make it a vlog. It's a vlog vlog. A vlog vlog. A vlog vlog. Vlog vlog. So yeah, uh, that's what it is now. It's not a vlog. It's not a vlog. It's a vlog vlog. So yeah, um, this will be posted on Wednesday, and I'll be posting something next Wednesday. And if you like this video, thumbs up and subscribe, and if you don't like this video, then whatever. I'll probably post something more interesting, like, next week. You never know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, aloha and goodbye!